The Ghana Health Service is demanding that applicants of the new voter ID adhere to COVID-19 safety protocols. Speaking at Tuesday's Minister's Press Briefing on COVID-19, the Director General of the Ghana Health Service, Patrick Kumar Boaji, said that disregard for COVID-19 safety measures may have far-reaching consequences. We are taking advantage of the period also to provide a lot of information at the centres. Of all the centres, we, I believe that people 18 and above are all going to be there and we're taking advantage the next six weeks to provide a lot of education to people about COVID and other health issues. So that's what the health workers will be doing. We will appeal. This morning on my way, I saw three queues before the registration had started. There were some that were doing proper social distancing. You can see the one meter apart. But there were parts that were also classes. So before the events that people must respect the social distancing and keep themselves separated. And everybody must wear their masks because um, the most important thing for we are doing is, our part of our episode, is to ensure that we have a reduction in the spread, both with prevention and not only responding to the cases. So mask wearing should be done. EC has sanitizers and Veronica backers to ensure that cleaning is done. All we are pleased that all must comply and ensure that this thing becomes uh, smooth and we reduce any um, effort to uh, cause uh, any thing that will lead to uh, increased infection because of the exercise. Ghana has recorded 390 new COVID-19 cases, pushing the country's case count to 17,741 cases. The recoveries stand at 13,269 with 4,361 active cases. The death toll is 112 with 24 severe conditions and 4 on ventilators. The Director General of the Ghana Health Service, Dr. Patrick, Dr. Patrick Mwaje, given the regional breakdown of the number of cases, advised the general public to report cases without a delay. Most of these deaths are coming from people who report quite late. And about 60% plus die within 48 hours. And more than um, 30, almost 40% die on the first day. So we continue to appeal that people should report early. If you are positive, report and start being monitored so that as we develop symptoms, we are able to quickly control it.